My name is Eva. And I'm Allie. And welcome to the episode for December 7th, 2018. Bus passes. If your child lands on riding, plans on riding the bus other than their own, they must bring a handwritten note to the guidance office before noon that day. Please note, due to the number of students riding various buses, some buses are not open to guest riders. Our annual Greenwood Middle School canned food drive is underway. Bring in those cans to your pride teacher to help us reach our goal. The rewards we have for our school are very fun. Bring in those cans today. If you are dropping off or picking up your student, please do not do so on stop 18. The only alternative is to meet them in Freedom Park. Students may use the walking path to meet you there. Now to Dominic with the interview of the week. Okay, my name is Dominic Williams and I'm here with Alyssa Raymond of WTHR. How are you today? I'm tired, but I'm great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to my nap in a little bit. Okay, so you wrote for your high school newspaper. Is that when you realized you wanted to work in broadcasting? It was. So that was in high school. I was editor-in-chief of Moonbeams. That was what the newspaper was called. And um, it was when I got the start in, in broadcast and just writing for the local paper. And then that led me to intern at a TV station in Pittsburgh and then shadowing reporters there. And that's how the ripple effect happened. Okay. Yeah. What's the best part about your job working at WTHR? That I get to meet people like you, yeah. Um, every every day it's different. I don't like waking up at 2 a.m., so that's probably my least favorite part of my job. But when I get to meet people like you, Ms. Brinker, Mr. Dean, that makes it all the better. If you didn't work in broadcasting, what career path do you think you would have taken? So I at first wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah and do family law and then I kind of went to a law firm and figured out that this is probably not the best career for me because <laughs> um, there was there was a lot of long days there and in family law it was sad to see both sides get hurt and there was no way to to I guess save both families like there's heartache on both sides and I didn't like that so and I was also looking at my clock you know the watch when you're thinking oh will this day end will it ever end um, so time flies with this career as opposed to in a law firm. How do you like to spend your spare time away from your job? I say I like to go to the gym but I really don't like to go to the gym <laughs> but I do do that I take my bike on the Monon Trail, which is fun. I like being outdoors, hiking, um, biking, kayaking, you know, spending time with family. I still call my grandparents every single day on my way home from work, so that's fun too. And what was your favorite class in middle school and why? English. What grade? What grade do you think? Um, Just in I'm general? In, I'm in sixth grade, yes. so I guess sixth grade. So sixth grade, it's definitely English, yes. And I, did you read Tuck Everlasting? Um, read I one? read that last year when I was in fifth grade. Oh, in fifth grade you read that? Uh, Whoa, <laughs> you're a year ahead of me then. But I remember Tuck Everlasting, yeah, the, the fun activities that we did surrounding that. and. Um, Right, I remember writing this one story about how you can't judge a house by a single room and I just wrote about how this house was just so disheveled but then there's this pristine bathroom so that's what I knew I liked writing and I hated science and math. <laughs> okay thank you so much for sharing your time with us and inspiring featured journalists and broadcasters at GMS. Thank you. Welcome. Hello, I am Sam and I'm here with the GMS Sports Report. All the boys basketball teams played two games each this week. The 6th grade A team lost a close matchup in overtime, but the B team won their game won their game Tuesday against Shelbyville, and both teams won their game Wednesday against Franklin. The 7th grade team dropped both games to Franklin on Thursday, but defeated Franklin Central on Tuesday. The 8th grade Basketball teams both split their games this week, beating Franklin Central but losing a tough one to Franklin Community. 
Now to cone with the weather. Hi, I'm Cone Bright with the weather for next week. The holiday season is quickly upon us and that means the temperatures are dropping. Next week will be partly cloudy for most of the week. The wind speeds will be in the 7 to 14 mile per hour and the highest chance of rain is 50 percent on Thursday and Saturday. The highs will be in the 30s and 40s. Bundle up and prepare for a chill while you are out finishing up some holiday shopping. Now back to the studio. Thank you for watching this week's episode of GMS News. I'm Eva. Please visit our website and our YouTube channel to answer the questions, show ideas, submit suggestions, or anything else. Also, be sure to stay tuned for more upcoming live streams of GMS events. Have a great day.